Hello guys, welcome back to the channel with some more remote sensing stuffs. I am Daud and you are watching Kido Algo. So in this video, I am going to talk about some Earth Engine APIs. So let's jump right into the video. Now that I already talked about how you can display an image, let's uh, know how we can compute the slope of an area or the average height uh, of an area using a function that is ee.terrain. So let's have a look. So find the slope of area or the slope of terrain. I will use here an image that is SRTM. So let's see what is this SRTM. So if I just write SRTM in the Google, you will see the subtle radar topography mission. So under this mission, it provides an image that is if I just type here SRTM. let's see yeah might be this this image yeah that's it so if i just import this let me just uh, add this layer uh, map dot add layer and as it's uh, only a limit so that's why we need you don't need to just uh, sort it right so if I just run this you can see the whole uh, map is covered by this image this layer and if I from the layer manager, if I customly just stretch this and apply it, so this is a subtle radar topography mission uh, image. Okay, you can know more uh, about it in details. So, what is uh, its function that it can provide the slope of an terrain or the area? Okay. So how we can find the slope? Let's see first that. So I am here defining a variable and creating a slope variable and then I am defining a property that is terrain uh, it might be yeah terrain dot slope now and this is the image and now I will simply create a add layer and pass the image let's see first what it gives as an output You can see this is a digital uh, elevation model. We cannot understand uh, anything from this. So let's pass this slope here. And now you can see this. We can understand some things. This is the slope model, right? And now uh, if I just let me give a uh, if I define a center or if I uh, like define the mean and max value 
and again I run this so this is the slope model right we can also find the aspect from it as you, it mentioned in the documentation let's define a variable called aspect and ee dot terrain dot aspect passing the image value and let's change this layer to the aspect and now let's see what happened so right now you can see that it's very hard to actually identify that which part each width uh, what is defined so that's why we can do some band math or the image math for make it better right so what we can do like something i am going to just paste the code and I will explain this. I have defined, I am do, what I am doing, I am getting the value of the aspect. Now I am dividing that value by 180 and I am multiplying that value with the pi. Okay. And then the value that I am getting, I am do, simply doing the sign of that value. So now I can add the layers according to them. Let me just pull that code. Yeah, this is right. So if I just run this, uh, let me just this is aspect you can run in this you will see from for different value the view will be changed the elevation model will be changed let's let me show you first the sign model so this is the sign model If I change it to the cos, this is the cos model, right? And if I just change it to the tan, this is the tan model. Now we can also do some image statistics over our image let's suppose we want to compute the statistics in earth engine so what we can do we can use a class that is ee dot reducer package for example suppose you are interested in the mean of a particular region mean of the elevation in some region like if i take if I want to take the elevation of the mean of that region so how we can do that okay so what we can do that simply we will draw a polygon and then digitize a polygon over that area over the interested area and the uh, over the area we can apply the reducer class okay so let's see how we can do that Let me just remove this code first uh, and then let me remove this also. Uh, first just run this and reset this all these things. Let me take a area here.
let me just take this place okay I will use this polygon marker now the geometry I got already now I will define a function you can say or the or uh, the dictionary that is the mean and now on the image I will what I will do I will apply a class that is reduce region you can get this also from here the documentation that is a reduce region it apply a reducer to all the pixel in the same specific region either the reducer must have the same number of input as the input image has bands or it must have a single input and will be repeated for each band simply what it will do it will just mean all of the pixels and now as a, I am defining this first property the reducer uh, ee dot reduce dot min and need to define the geometry the geometry is let's change it to as the area okay I cannot change it as it yeah I now can change it area it will be comma and now I will I need to give a scale what scale defined a nominal scale in meter of the projection to work in if I don't define a normal scale let's suppose what it uh, what would happen the scale parameter is in the pixel size in the meter to use okay so let's suppose uh, one pixel is defining the 90 meter okay to avoid the ambiguity you should always specify the scale when you doing the reduction as earth engine may not be able to automatically determine the appropriate scale from the input so now I will define the scale as 90 now I will print this mean if I just run this Here you can see I am getting a value 955. Okay. I am getting the average that is 955 in meters. Uh, now I can print. So I got the value mean elevation. So that's it for today's guys. Thank you for watching this video and if you get any valuable information from this video please consider to like the video and subscribe to the channel also and until then have peace.